I'm very excited to be here. My name is Indira, and um, actually I do some art, I do some sculpture, and I do some photography, and a little bit of installation. And um, I'm actually, I'm pretty far away today from the Bay Area, which is kind of excited to be connected to the Bay Area because I'm actually in Barcelona. And I don't know if you guys know where it is, but it's kind of far away, so I'm nine hours ahead of you guys. So here is actually nighttime and you guys are in daytime, which is kind of exciting. So I'm excited to be here and to start the class. So we can probably start, we're going to start with a slideshow and we're going to look at uh, images from um, pieces that are actually hanging at the Berkeley Art Museum right now. And uh, we can look at them in the gallery slide and I'll mm -hmm. tell you a little bit about those. Uh, what they are and what they mean. And this is actually a collaboration work between two artists. So one is the photographer, which is Gaby Gill. And then we also have uh, the drawer, the, the person that does, does all the drawing, which is Rahesh. So the two of them uh, collaborate with each other. So these two people actually work together to create one piece. Um, and this is uh, a whole piece. Uh, this is Heaven and Hell. And what worthy people uh, really uh, focus on that is a lot in the soil, the land, the animals, the farming. They did a lot. Of, they do a lot of farming. They do fishing. Their life, daily life is farming, fishing, you know, and celebrations. So most of the art that we see in worldly art is in relation to that. And here you can see, you know, the contrast. Oh, I love this one because it's actually, if you pay attention to it and you see that spiral. It's actually all the spiral is the, the trace of all the ends. So um, actually Rahesh, who is on the photograph, the artist, uh, and he's in all the photograph, is like he's living in the home of the ants. So that's kind of his purpose, how we, uh, ants actually live under, you know, under the earth. So he um, created this piece just uh, about ants, which is a great uh, piece. And here we see a little bit more paintings, and this is also a collaboration of two artists, which is uh, the, the son and the dad, and they also work on it together. And this is a fishing net. The actual fishing net is made out of all just circles, little circles, and it's a little bit, uh, it tells you a little bit about the life of the sea, you know, what all you have on the, on, on the net. You know, one of the things that they do is like agriculture and fishing is big for them. So um, they do the, all these uh, paintings that they do, you know, it's in relationship to what they actually do in a daily life and every day, you know, or every other day, things that they do regularly. So fishing is one of them. And this is actually a great one because it's, um, it's kind of like the balance. This is actually a celebration. It's like a three day celebration that they had. And um, you see in the middle, you know, all the people having the celebration and then surrounding it is so um, the flora and the fauna, you know, that you have around it. And how you can have a balance of living in harmony with the flora and the fauna that, you, you know, you live, you have your festivities, but you also can live with your animals, with your ants, with your, you know, snakes, with all the animals that are part of the, Earth, you know, and that under or on top, over there. This one is actually a legend. So apart from just daily life, they also do a lot of mystical drawings. And this is a legend. And this is a horse that in, in the tummy of the horse, there's a colony of bat, bats, you know, the ones that fly at night. And uh, they actually had decided to live inside the horse and they have a very harmony life in there. And then, you know, all what you see surrounding, and you see a lot of the symbols that you guys probably practiced before, like the circles of the sun that, that represent a lot of to them, the circles, the triangle, you look at the triangles of the people, you know, people are made with just shapes of triangles. These are uh, a lot of the symbols that I, I asked you guys to practice before, you will see in all these uh, paintings. And this, uh, this one and the last one is also a great photograph because as I mentioned, they worry so much about the, the earth and the soil and what actually lives 
under uh, the earth. You know how active life is under earth and how active is above, which is usually what we see. But under the earth, uh, uh, you know, below the earth, there's also a lot of life there that goes on. There's a lot of animals, a lot of insects that live under there. You know, and these artists always have, uh, they have a very strong connection to the land. So for them, there's very important to also, also put this in their uh, images, you know, in their paintings that they do. And the activity, you know, and that, and that balance here, you can see the balance between the above and the below of the earth, you know, and there's always a life under there, how they both of them can live together and they can um, feed each from each other, you know, how we can, uh, live with them in a har in a harmonious way, you know, and that's actually what um, what the beauty of of the worldly uh, images and painting and culture, you know, it's actually a culture, it's not just a painting style, but it's also a way of living. And a lot of this is focused. And here we have the symbols that I asked you guys to practice a little bit. We have the circle, which is the sun and the moon, you know, you can just add to it the triangle. The triangle represents like the mountain, like the body of the person. So you put triangles together and you create a person. The square is the land, so it's also the home. And then you have the, like the check marks, and those are just to add to like the people, you know, to create some um, symbols. The, the two triangles together that you have, they're almost like an eight. Um, those are just images that two triangles that are put together, and with those we can create people, we can like animals, and this, are, you should, this is what uh, Warley use, use for their uh, images. You know, they create their animals, they create their people with the triangles. The spirals are, you know, the, for them is the cycle of life. So they always add in this in, your, in their pictures. And then the little leaves, the ones that you see next to the, um, to the spiral, those are leaves to create trees, to create, you know, all different um, just uh, forms and uh, things that we're going to put in our um, images and our pictures that we're going to be looking at. The last one, we'll see a little bit of what, what we can do. They're just lines simple lines that you can just curve and then that helps you to create different very much of the different uh, things to do i'm going to actually move a little bit because i want to focus my here i am <laughs> i want to focus my workspace so i think you guys can see this and remember here so here it is i have my marker i have like a fine tip and a you know a little bit stronger you can use either or and I have my pages. If you have newspaper or you have a magazine, whatever you would like, you can use. So I have three here and I think I'm gonna use, I really been looking at them. And I kind of really like to, oh, before I forget about this, before I wanna just show you a little bit of what we can do with our symbols. So the circles, as I mentioned before, the circles can be the sun and also the moon. You know, you can use them for that. Triangles, remember what I said about the triangles and having them together? So you can do two triangles and you can actually put them together by the one of the ends. And then you get this one, the check mark. These are just, look, they can be your feet, they can be your arms. And you can do the head. And usually them, for male or female, they have this as a male. And when they want to do a female, they actually just ask, ask, I mean, they add a ponytail. And that's a female. And then we have the square. And the square, like I said before, if we combine that with the triangle, we can make our houses. And I, the two triangles, and this we can do some animals. So this is what these ones are, which is the same, two triangles together. And what can we do here? Maybe we can do a dog, you know, or legs. And I can do a spiral of a ponytail, I mean of a tail. And then here, what can I do with this, with the lines at the bottom, you remember? We can do lines, and these can become trees. 
So they can be used. All these things that you practice, they can all be used for your drawing. And another thing that you guys can do is to just repeat of them a lot of times. So like, if you want to make it a, a difference between like an older person and a younger person, then you can make the two triangle a little bit smaller. And then you have a younger person and an older person. So now we're going to move in, now that I show you guys what you can do with your symbols, I'm going to move into my image that I have chosen to work on. So what I want you guys to think is about something that you do as a daily life, like things that you do or that you see in the house. It doesn't have to, it could be you, it could be your parents, it could be your family, things that you do regularly. Like maybe, I don't know, like today I had to do my closing. You know, I have to wash clothes. So I was hanging clothes. So, you know, things that I do kind of regularly, or maybe cooking, that can be one. Or for you guys, any, anybody has any suggestion of things that you guys do regularly, like every day in the house or things? Anybody wants to give me any suggestion of things that you do? Hmm? Do you guys, I don't know, with the day sometime, like what do you guys do? Hmm? Rollerblade. Rollerblade, excellent. So you go outside to rollerblade. So maybe those are the things that you, so what we want to draw is a daily life and you're going to draw on top of your uh, piece of paper. And this is being influenced a little bit by the pictures that we saw before. So it could be rollerblade. So I'm going to think of so maybe, and you guys can start drawing on top of your uh, images. I think that I like this art workshop because it's like gives you inspiration for a different kind of project that you don't usually do. Like I never would have thought about us. We're, we're still muted, right? Oh, geez. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so what we, we can do of things, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to think of something that I do daily and I'm going to do it like right outside. So I'm going to draw myself here, actually, just thinking of today, you know what I did today, that today I had to hang my clothes out in my balcony. Here we actually hang clothes in the balcony, you guys. So it's me picking up the clothes, you know, right here. And then I have here some strings. So I can hang the clothes here. So I can hang the clothes. So you guys can start drawing and think about something daily life. And then you can also think, if you guys like animals or not, of another um, parallel uh, life. You know, what, what is going on under the earth while we're hanging the clothes? Or maybe while you're rollerblading. What goes on? You can actually create this if you don't know you can make it up <laughs> you can always make it up and that i'm going to do it inside the face so i'm going to think of all these animals and i love ants i actually love ants and i love how they actually travel inside so i'm going to make like a little here you know curved line of a little trail where the ants are going to go on you know, and this is maybe what he is on his, what he might be thinking, you know, I'm combining this photograph with these images. So, any question, if you guys have any question, please go ahead and ask, or any suggestion, or anything that you might think. I do, like, I have a question. Yes, Can please. It, is there like, can we like draw any other materials, just like shape, like any other just, just shapes or just like just shapes? Oh no, you can add other, other shapes too. These are just a few shapes so it's for you to, uh, to start out, but if you have other shapes, you can do them. This is just a suggestion so you know a little bit of how um, Worley actually used. And they actually repeat their images a lot. So, you know, they have like, like people dancing, you know, and then they have a lot of people dancing. So you can add other people around them. Like here, maybe I'll add the, pe the people that live across from me also hanging their clothes. So 
I have a question. Yes, please. Can we draw on plain paper? Can you draw on what? Plain paper? You can draw on plain paper too if you want. You can try the plain and you can try the other ones too. So I'm gonna do here like I was doing before. So did everybody started drawing? Or is somebody still having doubts about it? <laughs> or questions? So here I am drawing all my line of the ends. You know? Any other activities that you guys like to share of like lately, uh, daily life that you guys have been doing lately in, around your houses? Anybody wants to share something? Gardening. Uh -huh. Or any idea of what might be below our earth? Besides ants, so, you guys can hear those motorcycles. Maybe I should ride the motorcycle to here, as I can hear it outside. Let's check the time. So. Everybody is very quiet. Any question or you guys are very focused on drawing? <laughs> I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make around his eyes a big spot on a snake. That will help him. You can add your neighbors to your photo, your images. You can add your family to it. You know, just things that um, I'm going to add my neighbor here. This lady that always when I'm out. She's always hanging also her clothes. And under, I'm going to make a little. You guys have animals in the house? Anybody that has some pets? You can add them too to your images. Indira? Yes. Um, yo tengo un perrito chico en la casa. You do. I think that's Olivia. I know who that is. So you can add Olivia. So uh, you can add the little perrito in your picture. You should definitely do it. Tienes que agregar el perrito to your um, images. And what is the name of the perrito? ¿Cómo se llama? Oso. Oso. That's so nice. Oh, I can't wait to meet also. Anybody has pets in their house? Anybody else? All right. So it's also gonna be, it's also gonna be. You guys have a dog? We have a leopard gecko. Oh, really? Yeah. And what are the, their names? What is the name of it? Are you adding that to your images? The leopard gecko's name is Greg. Perfect. Very nice. So is everybody, you guys can also, you know, a lot of this, I'm sure you guys are going to have, you're going to be able to continue doing some um, drawings on your, you know, after we, you know, after we leave, you, you're probably going to still want to do some more um, drawing into your pieces. 
So you can always add more things to it. There's so much, you know, so much life above, under, around, next to us in our daily life, you know, simple things that we see. Oh, and then I have to add here some of the houses. So I'm going, since there's so many buildings, I'm just gonna do a lot of squares together. You know, and this is gonna be the apartment buildings that I see all day. Since I live in the city. So you can just add, you can always add to it. So, you know, a lot of the uh, worldly art, you know, it's mainly about daily life and they're very connected to this to the earth so it's a lot to learn from them you know that we should always con be connected to the earth and to the soil and the seeds anybody would like to share anything about their drawings There's so many motorcycles here. I have to put one that I see every day. I see so many motorcycles here. Can you see all the dots on, on the screen? And for some of you, if you want, you see how it, in, uh, before when we were looking at the images, a lot of these artists actually work together in collaboration. One of them worked in collaboration with his dad, which before actually, the dad, when he was younger, the dad was the one that asked him to collaborate. So a lot of time, you know, in these, um, you know, in uh, worldly communities, they actually, a lot of their works are um, done by two people. So not only you, but maybe some of you might want to ask somebody to, add something to your images. You know, that's also a possibility um, if you choose, you know. And how much time is there? Do we have a little bit of the motorcycle? Motorcycle here is not that so Here. You know what else? And I'm gonna do the dots. You know what I notice a lot in these um, images of the worldly paintings is that all those dots that they did it was, you know, to describe or to show the soil, the sand, you know, so things that are under and below our, our earth, you know, things what life goes on under there. This is what I like the best, actually, of it. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Are you guys on it? Great, we're having fun. Yes, excellent. Glad to hear that. I'm glad to see so many families doing their work too. That's so nice. This might be a great way for you guys when you're home, you know, just sometime you want to either write or you can just draw your daily life and things and keep them, you know, they're good memories to have. It's like writing a diary too, you know, so you can, you can do these drawings and uh, just things that you see every day that sometimes we don't pay attention, you know, and then we repeat them a lot. So we keep doing them and then we just, you know, since we do it so much, we don't really think about them. 
and maybe drawing it could be another good thing to do. And I know a lot of people are now home a lot, so it could be a good thing to do these days. But do you guys see when, have you guys, do you guys ever like look at the earth, you know, just kind of see it by the soil and then see some insects or oh, spiders, would you add some spiders too? And there's always so many spiders around. So if you're not done when we're sharing, which is perfectly okay. And um, so what we'll do is that we'll uh, put our images in front of the screen. You know, you can just put it up. So and um, put gallery, you guys can also uh, put your gallery view on the, on the, you know, on the Zoom. So we can all see a little bit of what you guys have been doing. And I get a chance to see uh, what you guys have been doing too. So we can talk a little bit and if somebody wants to share something special about it. Minu, your drawing is amazing. Is that a snake crawling on the ground? Yes, it, yes, it, yes. Yes, it is a snake <laughs> trying to get me. Oh, really? I can't really see that. Ooh. Aiden, I'm that palm tree drawing. I love the detail. No, it's not palm tree. It was on your leg. We're not on the tribes striving against each other. There's one uh, on top of the plant, so on top of the mountain. There's one on the bottom. And their their tribes uh, young is trying to scout out the place. So I think maybe we can actually do a little bit of uh, screen share <laughs> because I really want to see these pieces now that you guys started uh, talking about it. So can you guys put like um, gallery here and then we can all see what you guys are doing. So if you all use gallery view and hold your work up to your cameras, everybody will be able to see. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, I'll put mine too, next to my screen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.